the return of Klay Thompson cannot come soon enough. Thompson last appeared on a basketball court in Game 6 of the 2019 NBA Finals. In that game, he tore his ACL, putting him out for the rest of the season. And Thompson grabs his left knee. Now the He then tore his Achilles tendon prior to the 2020-2021 NBA season, putting him out for another full season. Thompson appears to be moving closer to returning to the court, with the star guard recently announcing on Instagram Live that he may be back in the next few weeks, maybe a month. We can only hope that Thompson will be able to return to full strength as soon as possible, because before his injuries, he was one of the league's most explosive scorers and thrilling talents. Today on Top NBA, we're going to be looking at some iconic Klay Thompson moments to get you hyped for his return. First up, threes on threes on threes. Bryant goes to work. Bryant the drive! Oh! Kobe Bryant! Kobe Bryant set an NBA record in 2003 by making 12 three-pointers in a single game. Danielle Marshall tied that record two years later. Brian and Marshall held the record for more than a decade. Stephen Curry equaled it at the end of the 2015-2016 season, only to shatter it in the 2016 season with 13 three-pointers. Wiggins again. Here's Curry for the record. It's good! There it is! Thompson subsequently outscored his flash brother 14 times in a win over the Bulls in 2018. Thompson concluded the game with 52 points on 18 for 29 shooting and 14 for 24 from three. In wait for it, 26 minutes of action. Ten of his threes came in the first half, tying Chandler Parsons' record for the most threes made in a half. Thompson, by the way, only took nine dribbles. Next up, dribble only when necessary. Thompson scored 43 points in a win over the Knicks on January 8, 2019 going 18 for 29 from the field and 7 for 16 from three-point range. The most bizarre aspect of it all, he only took four dribbles. In the 2020-2021 season, there were 66 players who averaged at least four dribbles anytime they touched the ball. Thompson scoring 43 points on less dribbles than some players use in a single possession is incredible. I think Clay will come out until he gets 40, and I think he has. Yes, Clay Thompson. He's got 41. Okay. Next up, a quarter for the history books. Thompson not only lit up the Kings with 52 points, but he also scored 37 in the third quarter alone, breaking Kevin Love's NBA record for points scored in a single quarter. Thompson created even more history in the quarter, hitting a perfect 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from the perimeter, tying the NBA record for field goals made in a quarter and shattering the record for three-pointers made in a quarter. After the game, Warriors head coach Steve Kerr remarked, I was one of the luckiest NBA players to ever play with Michael Jordan, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and some of the greatest players ever. I never saw Michael do that, no matter how many spectacular things he did on a nightly basis. Up next, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. <laughs> Everyone who played for the Lakers during the 2018 season most likely believes in the hot hand idea as well. Thompson scored 44 points on 10 for 11 shooting from the perimeter in a rout of the Lakers. He started the game a perfect 10 for 10 from three-point range until missing his only three-point try of the night with 3.55 left in the third quarter. Thompson tied the NBA record for consecutive made threes to begin a game by making 10 straight. Next up, the first person to do it. According to Stathead, Thompson is the only player in history to score 60 points in less than 30 minutes. It's never been done until tonight with an NBA record. Thompson scored a career-high 60 points in a win over the Pacers on December 5, 2016. He went 21 for 33 from the field and 8 for 14 from three-point range in only 29 minutes. Averaging 10 points a game. Plays made one. How about two? Thompson sat out the fourth quarter with the Warriors leading by 33 points after three quarters of play. Thompson had 11 dribbles, so a little more than five, but not by much. Thompson also had the ball in his possession. The footers that have ever done that. <laughs> Play early offense. For a total of 90 seconds throughout his 29 minutes on the floor. Last up, a once in a lifetime comeback. Play in the corner again. Thompson's career cannot be told without mentioning game six of the 2016 Western Conference Finals. Following a season in which the Warriors won 73 games, Golden State found itself trailing Oklahoma City 3-1 in the 2016 Western Conference Finals, 
that was a championship level Thunder team that included Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and Serge Ibaka. The three of them had the Warriors on the ropes in Game 6, but that's when Thompson took matters into his own hands. Following a 14 point third quarter, Thompson poured in 19 more in the fourth quarter. Kept it alive, play in the corner. <laughs> to lead the Warriors to a Game 7 victory. Tomley was extremely effective yet again, hitting 6 for 9 from the field and 5 for 6 from three point range. Blaine's got another one. The Warriors went on to defeat the Thunder in Game 7 to advance to the NBA Finals. Three. And that touched off the entire Warriors celebration. Wow. So obviously needs help up. Danny Green's just trying to block that. Well, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Top NBA, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. See you all next time.